So in piping around a cushion cover, I think gives it a, a really shop bought professional finish. And I've got a few hints and tips as to how you're going to sew around the corners and how you're going to join the two ends together, making them practically invisible. My joins actually, actually here look. So I've fed one part of the piping inside the opposite end of the piping. Let me show you how to do that. So you take your first piece of fabric and I don't cut my piping down to size when I start. I've just got the whole long length here and decide which is going to be the bottom of your fabric, uh, of your cushion cover, sorry, and we'll start in the centre at the bottom. And I'm going to leave a couple of inches unsewn. So line up the edge of your piping cord to the edge of the fabric. This is now your seam allowance. So if that's slightly larger than a, a quarter of an inch and you've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance, do be aware that you might have to cut your fabric a little bit bigger. So with this one, if you want to put a zipper foot on your sewing machine, that may help. We need to take the needle close over to, you see where the stitches are on the piping cord? This is shop bought piping cord. I want to cover those. So I'm going to move the needle of my sewing machine as far over as it will go. I mean, to be honest, this is quite a narrow piping cord. I could just sew straight over the top of it. And we'll start to sew. So line up the edges of your cord with the edge of your fabric and just run along that stitch. As you're approaching a corner, stop, leave the needle down, and we're just going to snip into the seam allowance, Oops. not through the stitches, but just a few cuts into the seam allowance so that the fabric kind of splays out as we go around the corner. I just need to cut a bit more into there. It's better. Now, when you do come to a corner, you'll never have a right angle when you're using piping. It won't form a right angle. So we want a nice, neat curve. And the binding, uh, the, sorry, the fabric on your piping will probably be cut on the bias. This is actually a knitted binding. So it does have a little bit of stretch. So take your time around the curve. We can always go back and re-stitch over some of these areas. I'll explain that later. I'm not going to make up the whole cushion cover, but I'll try and explain how we do that. So again, I'm approaching a corner, snip into the seam allowance, and just bend it around. I don't find pinning helps with something like this. Um, I think it's far too tricky and they don't always hold them in place, hold the piping in place properly, from what I've experienced anyway. So Karen's sewing all around. Here's another corner. I wouldn't normally use purple on blue with a white stitch, so I'm just trying to do this so that everything's standing out so you can see where I'm sewing and what I'm doing. I'd normally use the same colour thread as the piping. Okay, back down to this side. And the final corner here, snip into the seam allowance. Let's move you out of the way. And around the bend we go. And I'm going to leave a little gap there. And then cut off more of that piping cord than I actually need. Now quick and pick at the ready. I need these to overlap by about an inch or so. A couple of centimetres. Like so. Then take your quick and pick and unpick some of the stitches in the cord tape. So we're opening out and you can expose the cord underneath there. Now the idea is that this end, which is just cut off straight, needs to butt up against that 
that piping cord inside there so I can cut that back again a little bit more. Better to cut small pieces off at a time than one big piece. So I need the fabric to overlap but not the cord. So let's peel this fabric back and cut the cord off. So the two ends should meet. That can be a little bit shorter and that's perfect. The two ends of the cord are meeting now. So we'll take this back and fold the raw edge under. Now this is a, um, so it's a polyester, it's knitted, it doesn't want to crease. If you're using cotton it's a lot easier. So I'm going to hold this in place with a glue stick. So again just fold that over and hold that in place. So you don't have to rush out and buy a glue stick if you don't have one, but if you do have one this is one of the occasions where it comes in really handy. So the edges are now folded in. So that side can slip inside that side, so it's just overlapped and folded like so. And then we'll carry on sewing across that, that same stitch line. Just making sure that's as tight as I can get it, so wrap nice and neatly around the open end. So that's how it's going to look from the front, which is a, a, a barely visible join, as you can see. If this kind of moves a little bit, don't worry, you can trim that off later on. This is the bit that you're going to see. What else you're going to see is, if I turn this over, how close I've got the piping to the fabric. That, for me, isn't close enough. Let's have a look at the corners. That's a lot of the time where you can miss a little bit. That isn't quite close enough. I wouldn't adjust that at this point. I would put the second half of your cushion cover on the top and re-sew. This time sew from the side that where you can see the stitches so you know where you've been. And then when you've sewn them all together, then flick it the right side out. And if this isn't neat enough and you need to sew closer to the piping, you can go back again and do it at that point. If you're a little bit too close to the piping or you've caught the piping, then there's no harm in just unpicking a few stitches and doing that again. Um, but I did, again, I just think it's a really nice, neat way of finishing off a, a particularly a cushion cover because it does give such a, such a smart, um, professional finish to your work. So I hope that's kind of explained and demystified piping. It's worth the trouble. Don't worry if you do have to go back and unpick anything. That happens a lot. My issue normally is around those corners. I don't quite get close enough. It takes seconds to just go back and just sew a little bit closer. So expect not to get it perfect first time round. But I hope you find that useful. I'll see you next time.